Bangladesh is part of the South Asian subcontinent. After independence from the colonial British rule in 1947, the Indian subcontinent was divided into India and Pakistan. The eastern part of Pakistan was known as East Pakistan. During the first 24 years of the history of Pakistan, the people of East Pakistan were economically and culturally dominated by the West Pakistan. There was much discrimination against the East Pakistan and there was oppression and exploitation of the majority East Pakistanis by the West. As a result, there grew a movement for independence and finally the war of liberation was started on March 25, 1971. After nine months of bloody war and virtual genocide by the Pak Army, East Pakistan became independent and since then came to be known as Bangladesh. The city of Dhaka, capital of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, is an ancient historical city. The total area of Bangladesh is 1,47,570 kilometers. The country suffers from frequent man-made and natural calamities like political violence, floods, excessive rain, famine, storms, cyclones, tidal waves, tornadoes, etc. Bangladesh is the seventh most densely populated country in the world. At present, the total population of the country is nearly 160 million. Population Muslims 90%, Hindus 9%, Buddhists nearly 1%, Christian 0.3%. Main problems Extreme poverty, illiteracy, lack of quality education. First growing population, schools and colleges lack proper infrastructure, qualified and dedicated teachers, lack of social justice and transparency in the administration, lack of authentic human and ethical values. Natural beauty of Bangladesh, paddy fields, rivers, forests, hills, Bay of Bengal. A land of communal harmony, for hundreds of years people of different religions, Mainar, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist and Christian have been living side by side. There is peaceful coexistence. The constitution of Bangladesh ensures religious freedom. In the cities, towns, villages, marketplaces, People of different religions live and work side by side. They invite followers of religions other than their own to participate in the religious festivals, national days, weddings, cultural programs, etc. Holy Cross Religious came to Bengal in 1853. This was a real adventure. No other congregation wanted to take this as a mission field. The new missionaries saw the poverty-stricken people who were mostly illiterate, uneducated, victims of floods, epidemics, superstitions, poor health, cholera, smallpox, diarrhea, and other diseases. Right from the beginning, Holy Cross missionaries gave importance to and dedicated themselves to providing literacy and education to the masses. Even in the remote villages, wherever they built a church, they also built a school for the children. Side by side, they built clinics and centers for health care and education. With a view to eradicating illiteracy and superstitions beliefs, the CSC missionaries built many kindergarten and primary schools and high schools. The goal was to educate and enlighten the masses to uplift them from their poverty. In the schools, they built libraries, reading rooms, printed books, built computer labs, science labs with modern facilities, etc. They gave training for scouting to provide formation. Those who attended the missionary schools and colleges 
acquired better skill. The missionaries were dedicated teachers who used creative means to impart quality education. At present, a good number of educational institutions built and run by the missionaries are contributing greatly in the field of education. Notre Dame College, Holy Cross College, St. Joseph's School and College, St. Gregory's High School, Holy Cross High School, etc. These are recognized by all as among the best educational institutions in the country. With a view to spreading education among the backward and rural masses and to extend and expand their contribution in the field of education, the Holy Cross Fathers have undertaken to build another college in Mamising. Construction of this college building is going on and admissions are likely to begin soon. Considering the present needs in the socio-political and cultural realities of Bangladesh and with a view to spreading quality education in the country, the Holy Cross Fathers decided to start a university in the same line as Notre Dame College in Dhaka, which is recognized as one of the best, if not the best, colleges in the country. The education and formation of young boys by Notre Dame College is very much appreciated by all irrespective of caste and creed. In order to see this dream of the CSC Fathers realized the Bishop Conference, priests, brothers, sisters, alumni of Notre Dame and the public in general have given their support and encouragement. Ultimately, a trustee board was formed and they prepared a plan to be submitted to the government for the official approval. The Ministry of Education, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh officially approved the application for Notre Dame University Bangladesh on 29th April 2013. What you are about to see is a dream coming true. It is a dream of the Catholic Church in Bangladesh where only two out of every 1,000 people is Catholic. It's a dream of all the people who have been involved in Notre Dame College in Dhaka for the last 64 years. It's a dream of the Congregation of Holy Cross, which has served here in Bangladesh beginning in 1853. The dream is to begin a university, Notre Dame University, Bangladesh. Notre Dame College was begun 64 years ago and has served the country so well for so long, forming young men with values to be good citizens, to contribute to the country. Its thousands of alumni can attest to that. But there's great need today in Bangladesh for a university in that tradition, a university that will be value-based and service-oriented, a university where values, common good, fairness, honesty will be taught, and which will serve as Notre Dame College has, as a place of academic excellence. We're beginning small. We got permission from the government of Bangladesh to begin the university. We're gonna begin with a small student body in borrowed space. The purpose of this video is to show you our dream coming true and to ask for your help. Our small province of Holy Cross here in Bangladesh has put $400,000, which is a lot of money for us, into this project so far. We're asking for help because we need to build a home for the university. I think you'll see in what follows our dream and what it will look like and the impact it will have on Bangladesh, the model of Notre Dame University Bangladesh, the competence to see and the courage to act. Father Benjamin Costa CSC, former principal of Notre Dame College from 1998 to 2012, he was a lecturer, vice principal, and principal in this college for 36 years. Now his name has been proposed as the Vice-Chancellor of the Notre Dame University, Bangladesh. 
The family of Holy Cross, priests, brothers and sisters, ever since the arrival in this country in 1853, have made sincere efforts to spread education in this, in this country because that was the prime need of the nation. The alumni of Notre Dame College have inspired us and encouraged us to go ahead and start a university and as well also the CBCB, the Catholic Bishops Conference have also uh, have encouraged us to go ahead. So after much discussion and deliberations, finally the chapter, Holy Cross Priest Province chapter decided to go ahead and uh, project proposal was prepared and it was submitted to the government and the government has finally gave the approval for Notre Dame University of Bangladesh on 29th of April 2013. Now we are in the process of getting ready for new admissions and we hope that Notre Dame can contribute much in the development of the nation in this field of education. Construction of the university's own building. The university will start on a small scale and grow gradually. However, there is an urgency to shift the university to its own site as early as possible. The university has been given approval on this condition. The university authority has already prepared a plan for a 10-story building. There will be facilities of academic and administrative activities. A huge amount of fund is needed for this purpose. And we ask you just to consider helping us to form a true university in a country where it is so desperately needed.